Ladies, leave those hands up now, fellas. Put your bands up. Ladies, leave those hands up now, fellas. Put your bands up. Ladies, leave those hands up now, fellas. Put your bands up. Ladies, leave those hands up now, fellas. Put your bands up. What's up everybody? We're here in New Brunswick, New Jersey. It's Thursday, October 7th, 5.40 p.m. Nice weather, 79 degrees, great night to be out. Hello everyone, if you enjoy this kind of content, please like and subscribe. Thanks and God bless you.
Okay, we got the School of Arts and Science Department of Religion here. We're at Rutgers University, College Avenue. Got some big houses, big buildings here. Um, Eva Care, Harpin House, Hilly House. Okay, this is the corner of Mine Street and College Avenue. Um, yeah, we could keep walking up. Okay, we got Stone Street and College Avenue. Okay, this is the other bus stop here on College Avenue. It basically takes the kids, uh, the college students, um, around to their classes and dorms and all those kind of things. So it's uh, that's what it's there for. Plugging in my camera to get some juice.
This is a new Pocket 2. I have the Pocket 2. Oh, and we have some music here. I have to go the other way. <laughs> Copyright music. It's a uh, YouTuber Kryptonite. And this is the student center. They basically have a place for people to study. There's some tables. There's some restaurants. Uh, the Wendy's. Wendy's is in there, I believe so. Yeah, Wendy's right here. The food court. Okay, the food court part. It's right there. So. Okay. What's up everybody? We're here in New Brunswick, New Jersey and it's October 7th. Right now it's 5.54, October 7th, 2021. Right now it's 5.54 p.m. Uh, great weather. The weather is awesome. It, it's fall but it feels like, uh, feels like mild summer walking around. Spring maybe, but 79 degrees. It's good, really great. Um, we're by the counseling center on 17th Senior Street, and this is where it all began. When you hear fat cats and sandwiches, fat cat sandwiches that took off in America, I don't know about the rest of the world, but I know it took off in America. This is where it began. It was the grease trucks. And they were selling these fat cats that nobody ever heard of, nobody ever seen before. They came out of nowhere and took the college community by storm. Rutgers, New Jersey, New Brunswick. And everybody after the bars, the nightclub, Old Queens, um, and the, the Golden Rail, all these bars on Easton Avenue, New Brunswick would just flock here and grab a fat cat. These grease trucks were packed. They had, man, there was a good eight grease trucks, something like that. Um, they were all great. They were all like, you know, people have flocked to certain ones that they liked. You know, they had their favorites. Um, myself, I went to the Are You Hungry one. Um, there was others and they were all great. But Abdul, Abdul was the main guy on there. Um, <laughs> you wanted a, a fat cat or whatever it was, he'd slap your hand and say, absolutely, um, absolutely, you know, like really cool. Um, basically, those those terms. But uh, yeah, it, it was all so awesome. But yeah, it all started. It all started right here. the very beginning. Of the fat cats. Um, I'm not 100% sure it was this exact part of the parking lot. But they were here. Um, yeah, it might have been on this side of the parking lot, honestly because they're not here anymore, so I'm just speculating on which side of this parking lot. But, New Brunswick is where they started. If you haven't had a fat cat, I'm not recommending it as a health, healthy option or alternative to any kind of food that you eat. <laughs> if, you, if you're a healthy person, you know, eating, watching what you eat and all that. 
but if you have a fat cat in your area and you're looking for some junk food then yeah definitely I recommend trying a fat cat if you have one around where you're at because uh, yeah they're, they're very good I will say that but yeah that was uh, back in the day now they're in the stores they have their own stores on Easton Avenue and all and you go to some other restaurants and they're selling fat cats and other variations of the fat cat and it took off it's a big it was a big sandwich and if you ever had a fat cat maybe uh, leave a comment and something's going on here I don't know what it looks like some kind of musical event but the fat cats were very are very were very very popular they talk off and they they took New Brunswick by storm so man it was really cool so right now we're here by the Olive Branch Bar in New Brunswick And this is the Rucker section of the city. So we're still in the Rucker section. And they got the road closed off. So there's probably something going on here later. And they had some music stuff going on there, so. Um, not sure what, but they got big lights. They get the lights here, so. Yeah, something's gonna, some kind of event. It's night light. V service or series it says so and they got these bikes you see these bikes all over the place all these cities everywhere New York Manhattan they're everywhere those bikes so you just get in and go what's going on here tonight an event an event tonight here oh I got the road closed off I was wondering they got stains facing houses I don't know what's going on oh okay yeah, I was thinking it might be good at a YouTube video, you know? I'm yeah, doing videos, so. Thanks, brother. Peace. Yeah, so I'm not sure. I would ask the cop, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> I try not to ask cops everything. But, yeah. It's okay. So. What's going on here? An event tonight? The street closed. Oh, oh yeah. What's happening? It's a bed racing. So they have like little kind of hospital beds with like wheels and they like push, like it's teams so you push someone down and like so the winner, whoever goes fastest. Oh wow. Yeah. Is it for like charity? Or just an event just to... Yeah, so if you win, like your club gets the money. Like $500 oh. or something. That's different. I've never heard of that. Yeah, and the town supports it obviously. They're closing this the street. Yeah. So that's a pretty, uh, what time does it start? Any idea? I think it starts at 8 or 9. Oh, okay. It's like midnight, though. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's a long time. Yeah, because I do YouTube, so maybe that'd be a good... Uh... Oh, yeah, no, that definitely would be cool. <laughs> That'd be different for YouTube, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'll, maybe if I'm here that time, but how often do they have it? Uh, once a year. Oh, once a year, yeah, okay. It's the only time. Oh, okay. Oh, well, here, here's a, a card. Oh, thank I you. do my. I put the YouTube link on my DJ link, so... Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, you can check it out. I just started a few months ago, but it's a cool, you know. But yeah, I'm looking for stuff like that. That's cool. Yeah, thank you. Take care. Oh, okay, so it's they, they race hospital beds. And somebody wins. That's pretty interesting. Huh. Maybe we'll check that out. But yeah, it is... A nice day in New Brunswick and hopefully I hit the right spot for the grease trucks if I didn't it looked just like it <laughs> there's a lot of those little parking lots but um, I'm pretty sure that was the grease truck section if it wasn't I'll find it but I'm pretty sure I'm like 90% sure that was the spot for grease trucks but we are pretty far up 
Um, yeah, maybe it was a different, I don't know. <laughs> maybe it was a different parking lot because we're pretty far up here on Easton. But if it is, then I'll add it into the video. But it's okay. <laughs> What's up guys? 6.04 p.m. Thursday, October 7th, 2021. And we're here in New Brunswick, New Jersey on Easton Avenue. And the weather is great, 79 degrees. We're on the corner of Easton and Prosper Street. And we're right near the Scarlet Pub. And we're gonna walk over over towards the Route 27 um, area, so let's walk. We're in the college section of New Brunswick, so It's a great night to be walking, out walking, getting exercise. Okay, we got Old Queen's Tavern, restaurant. Boom. Pocket two. Pocket two. I was telling him. <laughs> it's 
somebody was saying it was a GoPro Pocket 2. Same thing. Not same thing, but you know. What's up everybody? We're on the corner of Albany Street and George Street, New Brunswick, New Jersey. And it's Thursday, October 7th, 6.17 p.m. The weather is great, 79 degrees. Um, let me recheck the weather to make sure I'm accurate. 75 degrees now, it went down a little bit from earlier. Um, you know, when you click on the phone, sometimes it, it changes. <laughs> That's what I just did, but little technical stuff there but um yeah we're on the corner of Albany Street and uh, George Street and we're gonna walk around and check out the scene there's a lot of people out enjoying the weather so we're gonna uh, see what's popping see what's going on here in New Brunswick so we'll start by walking down George Street Uh, got patio dining here. It's a lot of people out on the patio dining. Got the restaurants open. So people are out enjoying the restaurants today. It's a great day to be out walking. Um, the weather is phenomenal. So... Enjoying the weather. We're here at Kilmer Square. There's people out and dining. Okay. Now we're on the corner of Nielsen and Albany.
Okay, so we're here by Blackthorn Restaurant Irish Pub. Nielsen and Church, Nielsen Street and Church Street. Let's walk up. We got Steakhouse 85 here. It's obvious what they sell. Steakhouse 85 looks pretty nice. They got a lot of classy restaurants here in New Brunswick. Salt, seafood, and oyster bar. Nobody out here, but we're on the sidewalk, so I guess I could walk through here with no problem. Nice setup they got. It's pretty cool. Okay, so we're walking up to George Street. We're on Church Street and George Street. And this street right here is the restaurant section. This has been closed off for a long time. So it's very different from how it used to be in New Brunswick because this being closed because this street here was a major street to drive through I mean this is like the main one of the main streets in New Brunswick you got Easton Avenue you got Route 27 here Albany Street um, but yeah this right here George Street used to be a major spot to drive through so being that it's still closed is uh is cool but crazy at the same time it's cool it's great for the restaurants and i, I highly am happy for them i'm glad that they're doing great or doing well at least it looks like but it's different so it's a good thing whichever way you look at it it's a good thing Thank you. 